In this video, we will go through the editing preferences in Movie Magic Screenwriter. There are a bunch of settings that are pretty useful for your everyday writing, and if you know how to set them right, these can really make the difference between a joyful and annoying writing experience, depending on your personal preferences. In order to open the preferences, just hit the gear icon at the top of the Navidoc, or on the Mac you could also go to Screenwriter Preferences. This brings you to pretty much all of the preferences of the program, and this time we will focus on the preferences in the Editing tab. Right up at the top you see a setting that says keep insertion caret above window bottom x lines. This defines how far down the program will let you go when you write before it begins to scroll automatically. To see what that looks like, let's set this to zero for the moment. Now when you go to your script and you just type until you reach the bottom of the program window, because we set this setting to zero, it will let you go all the way down before it begins to scroll, which might not be so pleasing. So if we go back and set this setting to 6 again, where it was before, and now we add another line to the bottom of your script, you see that it will leave a gap between the line where we are writing and the bottom of the screen, which is much nicer in my opinion. You could even set the number higher to have the active line of your script further up, if you want. Then you have a whole section with quick type settings. Quick type in general means that every time you write a recurring element, for example locations, that you've used before, or character names, times of day, that kind of stuff, Movie Magic Screenwriter will open a selection box so you don't have to type in the whole word again. And basically what you do here is you can set for which of those elements you want to use that functionality or not. Also on the right side of this section, you can set if you want to use Smart Tab. Let's have a look at what that is. Let's suppose we have a scene with two characters, Daphne and Lisa. But in a scene before, a character named Laura turned up. So the program would know that the name Laura already has been used. In order to simulate, I put the names Lisa and Laura in the character user lists. If you don't know what those are, don't worry, they are covered in another video and you can have a look at it later. Now. If I want to type the name Lisa as soon as I type the L, Movie Magic Screenwriter offers me the name Laura because the A becomes for the, before the I in the alphabet. So this time I need to choose Lisa from the list. But the next time in this scene when I hit tab to get to the character name element and then type L, the list will automatically jump to the Lisa entry and not to the Laura entry because this smart tab function remembers that this is the name we used before in this scene. So this is what you can define in the preferences by activating or deactivating this smart tab checkbox. Then we have so-called running lists. And that's basically the same thing. If you want the program to pop up the selection box for shot and transition elements, just check these. And then we have this one when parsing locations only strip known times. This defines if the program will only recognize time of day that it already knows as useful entries or if it will accept just anything that you put where time of day usually goes. Let's look at an example. We have the scene heading interior garage something, just as an example. Now, something is not a useful time of day that the program would recognize it such according to the times of day default user list. You can see the user list if you go to format user lists and then click on times of day. So if I have the setting when parsing locations only strip known times checked and I write that scene heading with the time of day something, the program will not recognize this as a useful time of day. And when I hit enter, it will ask me what time of day I want to put in because from what we have in the scene heading so far, it hasn't found any, although we put the hyphen there. If I uncheck the setting, the program will accept whatever I put behind the hyphen as time of day and it will just jump to the next line without asking me about it. At the bottom of the editing preferences we have a bunch of settings where you can define your enter and tab key behavior. They're all pretty self-explanatory. All the settings describe from which element to which element the program will jump. If you check them, so just try out what works for you. There is one setting worth explaining though, this drag and drop should break elements in the middle. That means that if you drag an element to the middle of another element, you can decide whether you want the program to break that element in the middle and place the new element in between. 
If this is checked, the element will be broken. If this is unchecked, the element will stay intact. And the one that you move over from another place will be put after that element. All right, that's editing preferences in Movie Magic Screenwriter. So now you can set up the program's behavior so that it can help you the most with your way of writing and editing.